Hello everyone, my name is Rufilo Mapoto from the University of Limpopo and I will be presenting about first principle cluster expansion study of tantalum duped tetragonal LLCO oxide garnet solid state electrolyte. The study is supervised by MC Masedi, KT Malachi, P. Ingwepe and R.S. Legram. The oxide garnet tetragonal LLCO is a promising solid state electrolyte for lithium ion batteries due to its high energy density and enhanced safety. However, the use of tetragonal LLCO in practical devices requires that it be able to withstand high temperatures with good phase stability. To this end, the concept of supervalent cation doping has been introduced and reported as an effective way to enhance the stability of the low temperature tetragonal LLCO. In this study, the first principle calculations combined with cluster expansion have been used to generate the new possible tantalum duped LLCO structures. Furthermore, Monte Carlo simulation were used to determine the effect of temperature on the system. On the most stable generated tantalum duped structures, further density functional theory calculations were performed to determine the structural, mechanical and electronic properties of the structures for their use as active solid state electrolytes. The Vienna Apinicia simulation package was used to perform the crystal structure optimization and electronic structure calculation of the structures. In VASP, the projector augmented wave potentials were used to describe the electron ion interactions, whereby a 5 by 5 by 1 K mesh point and a cutoff energy of 500 electron volts were used for the structures. The geometry relaxation was considered converged when all forces were less than 0 0.01 electron volts per angstrom, with the self consistency conversion criteria for the energy set to 10 exponent negative 5 electron volts. In order to generate the new possible stable structures, the universal cluster expansion was used, which allows the setup to construct and automatically uh, convert the cluster expansion for the tetragonal LLCO to generate the new possible uh, structures within a random mixing. Here is the binary ground state diagram obtained from the cluster expansion calculations when doping tantalum to the 16C zirconium side of the tetragonal LLCO. The graph shows a miscible constituent since all the structures are generated on the negative side of the enthalpy of formation. The red solid line indicates the ground state line, with the structures on it considered the most stable by cluster expansion. All structures are thermodynamically stable since they all have a negative enthalpy of formation. The Monte Carlo temperature profile was calculated to evaluate the phase stability of the system as a function of temperature at concentrations that correspond to the most stable structures generated by cluster expansion. Here is the temperature profile at 50% zirconium and 50% tantalum. Here is 25% zirconium and 75% tantalum. And here is 12,5% zirconium and 87.5% tantalum. The systems mix very well and there is no phase separation since the energy difference is very small, which confirms the miscible constituent predicted by the binary ground state diagram. The structural and mechanical property calculations were performed to evaluate the stability of the structures for their use as active solid state electrolytes. From the table, it shows that the lattice constant decreases with an increase in uh, tantalum concentration. This is because tantalum has low ionic radius compared to the zirconium. Also, the elastic modulus satisfy the hardness and fracture toughness stability of electrolytes. The pack ratio is greater than 1.75, which indicate that the materials are ductile. Further calculations on the band structure were performed to evaluate the electronic stability of the structures. From the results, it shows that the band structures have a direct band gap of approximately 4.6 electron volts uh, along the gamma symmetry point. The large band gap indicates that the materials have a magnetic separator behavior. In conclusion, the study was a success since the cluster expansion generated thermodynamically stable structures and the system showed a homogeneous mixture with no phase separation. Also, the structures are ductile and ionic with a wide electrochemical window. So the analysis paves the way for further research and development of these promising materials. This is the job script data used when performing the results. I would like to acknowledge the following parties. Thank you.